The tallest mountain in Catalus. You might say it's Catal. The Catalus. Get out! I am not making jokes that are the same as freaking Soren, all right? Hey there, hi there, hello there, and welcome to the Naruto Gen Reacts. In this video, we're reacting to the Dragon Prince Season 1 finale. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Book 1, Moon, Chapter 9, no. Wonderstorm or Wunderstorm, if it's German. I'm excited to see how the season ends. <laughs> Is it gonna be on a cliffhanger or something big happens? Stop being mysterious. If you're yeah, how do you know? Like that, you Eva told me. Uh, here we go. Okay, so yeah, this confirms that he definitely, like, if it wasn't obvious enough already that Ezrin can, like, talk to animals. Like, he talks to bait, I think, but when we've seen it, the most obvious was when he, um, uh, oh my god, when he talked to the egg originally, when he said, when he was like, oh, it's okay, um, and everything, and then he talked to the horse, and it told him about, like, the mountain and how it went up there and that something scared it and everything so yeah so he he i wonder if the egg is telling him there's no healer or no not the egg just now um freaking eva told him might disagree <laughs> or maybe we can find an opinion <coughs> bait agrees around here somewhere i knew you wouldn't listen to me Okay, come on. I'm not even raised around Ezra, and even I can tell that he has the ability to talk to animals just from the way he's spoken to animals and, like, said, like, why are you doubting him now? Ezra, I'm listening to you, but it is Thank you, Rayla. hard to believe. But she believes him. I've always been different. It's hard for me to make friends with other kids. I just feel like... I can't even, I'd love to have a friend that spoke to animals. Frick yeah. <laughs> Why would somebody, why would you want a friend that speaks to animals? I want one. Like, that's okay. Neither do Finian I. Is boring anyway. Exactly. But Fitting in with the status quo, the box. This. Can you believe this? Yeah. Why would he lie? Because Seriously, Callum. He's a kid? Because it's fun? Because he's afraid to go up the mountain. I'm not Really, Callum. You you can't You've known Ezra since you were babies and you're saying he's making this up just because he's a kid? Come on now. But when I went through the waterfall, did I find a treasure? No. But did doesn't mean they didn't move it. Did my underwear get soaked? Yes. Case closed. Really? That one instance when you were like probably really little, and you're taking that and say that he he's been fibbing all along, he's kept up with it. Like why? The raccoons were being mischievous. I have since learned you cannot trust raccoons. This is. Ridiculous. I mean, they are. Thieves, bandits. <laughs> so it makes sense. See, this is why you can't make friends. Callum, hey. Back off. Do you believe me, Rayla? Does it matter? I believe that doesn't you mean yes. But because I have my Ava. We're moving on. We need to get. I keep calling her Eva. It's Ava. Wally, Wally corrupted my brain. <laughs> the rim. Pretty harsh, though, Callum. The tallest mountain in Catalus. You might say it's... Catal? The Catalus. Get out! I am not making jokes that are the same as freaking Soren, alright? <laughs> Please! <laughs> oh wait, never mind, I actually got her to laugh for real. I take it back. Yay, I make, I make Claudia laugh. Oh, tears. You are a genius. Really? Well. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Pigs could fly. The shortest mountain. <laughs> okay, let's not stoop to Soren's level now of jokes, please, Claudia. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Her laugh is adorable. <laughs> Her little laugh. <laughs> Why is it so cute? So now I'm not even sure you got the original joke. <laughs> well... Look at this, Soren. Now you know how she feels when you say a joke and it's not very funny. But at least she doesn't rub it in and keep going, you know, you know, like repeating it. I, I just don't want to get all the way to the top of the mountain and have you suddenly remember you still need a, a and go all the way back down or something. Could not be less interested. <laughs> Jeez. She just on the face. She's like, mm, okay. <laughs> oh. Claudia's definitely my favorite between Soren and her, but I, I have a feeling she's gonna be the one that's gonna go dark. The moon rune glows. Which I'm not gonna be Here's ready for. Something seems different this time. 
Should we make fun of him and say, are you sure? Did anyone else Creepy voices. That? Yep, ignoring it. Keep ignoring it! <laughs> Maybe we should find out what it is? Nah, I'm just keep walking. an old elven proverb with you. When traveling up a mountain, trying to save a dying dragon egg and you hear a spooky sound. She's making this up on the spot. Just keep walking. Just keep swimming. Wow, that's really specific. <laughs> Callum, please don't compete with Claudia or Sorum for airheadedness, please. What if someone needs help? Go back. You have a good heart. It's super annoying. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. I thought she was gonna say, you have a good heart, but now's not the time. Not say it's super annoying, <laughs> hey! <sighs> Fine, but we shouldn't all go- Well, at least she still goes. Up there. I'll check it out. The rest of you stay here. Man, that purple now is all the way past her elbow and it's, ooh. Wait, they all lean a look. Is this gonna be a giant, like, spider? Like something out of Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? There's somebody wrapped up in that. Who's gonna be in there? Well, we know it's not gonna be Sword or Claudia, so. Poke it with the sword. Wait, what if it's. No, because he didn't go up the mountain. I was gonna say, what if it's the guy that had the, the fire blade? The blaze blade, whatever it was called. The elf blade. But I'm like, he didn't follow up after them. Yeah, no, that's that's an instant no for me. I get the feeling they're actually dead. Is it gonna be dust? Is it gonna be like dust and cobwebs and... Yeah, that's a no, I run away. Are you okay? Sure. You saw something. A ghost. It was barely alive. Barely alive. It was dust. You might as well go. On. <laughs> that's not alive. That's a. That's beyond even mummification. Crumbled to dust right before my eyes. Yeah. It was. But maybe because she was gonna save it, maybe it'll spare them. I saw something. A face in the dark. Yes, yeah, because closing your eyes and looking away will help you. Excuse me. Why do I feel like this is not going to help them in believing Ezra in his whole I could talk to animals thing? Because they're going to think because he's lying about this. What else? Uh, maybe he lies about the animals too. If you guys want to turn back. No. There's no turning. She's like, please, can we? I feel like it's. Uh, I feel like whatever is making those like faces or whatever is like an illusion or just trying to thwart them off. And then if they get past that is where it's like, it's like, it's like a test. I feel like that te that spider thing or the dead person the thing may have been a test and then now that's a test. I don't know. Oh, you're going into the thick of it. Into the thick of Okay, never mind. I'll avoid that meme. We need to punch through. Punch through literally? Be careful. Alice is not touch those webs. Really, Cam, you were gonna touch that? <laughs> Why? No touchy. Observe. That wasn't there when El uh, Ellie Ellis went there. Is that the face we've been seeing? So they're not illusions, I guess. Ew. Okay, you're actually not that bad looking. Never mind. It's your the your thorax abdomen face thing that's ugly. Really, Callum? <laughs> He's one of the people that's scared of that. Okay, obviously it's not arachnophobia, because arachnophobia, he would have been just petrified, just huddling on the ground like a sobbing mess. Um, but he just doesn't like the feel of it, like being in it, like the webs and everything. <laughs> You'd know if it was in your hair. I yeah. Shh. There'd also be guts and stuff everywhere if you had zapped it death or made it explode. Above. The thing moves fast, though, I'll say that. Actually, I like its design. It's cool. Even if 
we manage to get past. Blind it? You don't want to know what happens if you get caught in a web. I saw it firsthand. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, is this where his talking is going to come in? Is it going to communicate with them? Is it actually trying to help? That's why it hasn't really attacked them. It's cute. Why is it cute? <laughs> why is it actually cute? Why do they give it cute noises? I mean, I'm not against spiders. Like, I literally have a pet house spider. Um, but what they actually made it cute. In a good way this time. What is it? Babies? I know it's late. There's moonlight. Ah, the clap. Zorin just loves exercise. How's oh, that fresh night air? Mm-hmm. House manure. I mean, house manure. Horse manure. Oh, Claudia, I think your horse just wasn't the horse. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm disgusted. I'm surprised. I thought that would come from Sora, and not from. Cla <laughs> uh, they're so siblings. And a little impressed. <laughs> okay, there you go. There's a, there is a Soren. It's not real. I'm sure of it. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, Ezrin, you're just gonna have to walk by it and prove it to them. If not, they're not gonna believe you. Ezrin, you've lost your mind. I'm going out there. You to sure you it. haven't? You have really stinky breath. Ah! Yeah, it sounds like a person. What if it's the old man? No, I don't think it'd be the old man. Who is this? Ah! ah? All right, this isn't how to train your dragon slash Jurassic World. Don't try to pet it. See? It won't do anything. Now do you believe him? You're right. Well, at least one. I'm sorry I didn't. At least. <laughs> I promise. Yeah. I won't ever doubt you again. Then you have to do the thing. <gasps> Are we going to get to see the jerk face, stupid idiot stance, please? Here? Yeah. Now? Yeah. Do it. Yes. Do it. Do it. Oh my god, it's the chicken dance! No! <laughs> Callum's famous jerk face dance. <laughs> oh my god. That's glorious. What the fuck is that? You're doing the gritty? No, you're not. So I like the Celtic like music though. What, can you go back to focusing on Callum? We've waited like this whole season to see him do the jerk face dance. He's finally doing it and you cut him off. Knees higher, knees higher. Yes, more. How, how many dances have you thrown into this? <laughs> oh my god, this is great. But who's made it? If it's not real, then who made it? So now what? Do we just... Uh, Wait. Miracle healer. I just showed up, then she showed up. No, you didn't. You literally, like, curled up and thought of everything, like, you were done for, and then she showed up. Or it does work like that. The moon? So is it a moon elf, then? Wait, no, you're- I mean, Rayla's kind is a moon child. What are you? Griffin? No. Some kind of blue phoenix? Iceberg? Oh, you're cool, whatever you are. I like your design. All right, sorry, Pip. Move over. You're not the coolest bird in town anymore. <laughs> it's freaking this bird. Oh, hello. You are. Oh no. Oh no. Why are you saying oh no? Ez was right about everything. She's a moon mage, an illusionist. Oh. She can't heal anything. But then who who healed Ava's leg? Huh? Guardian of the Moon Nexus. God, I love her bird. Real. They were all illusions. Mm -hmm. If you're not a healer, how did you say? Imagine that Ava's leg freaking just pops out of existence right now. <laughs> it's just a really good illusion that's held on for this whole time. It's Ava's leg. I'm... Is it the necklace? Is it the necklace? It, it's the necklace, isn't it? She's hurt. She's perfect. She's how everyone else was perceiving her as not as being like damaged and stuff, even though Ava didn't feel she was. So let me guess, she put that call on her for others to see her with a leg, but she has not had a leg this whole time. You, know, I, I'm betting that's what it is. 
Well, I mean, this isn't gonna help Rayla with her arm for sure. I created an illusion. A leg that others would see and feel, even though it wasn't real. Wow. An illusion won't help us. Mm-hmm. To hatch it. What, can you force hatch it? Sky dragons can only be born in the eye of a storm. The weather is clear for me. Is this where Calum's gonna is he gonna make an artificial storm to hatch it? Or what if what if Claudia comes up? Would Claudia help? Hmm, alright. Alright, hold up. Either gonna be Callum or Claudia or both combined. I'm sorry. Break the primal stone and let the storm out? I dropped it. This is all my fault. No. This is the I first time we've seen Rayla crying. You're so good and brave. Don't all of you start crying now? Now would be a good time, Claudia, to show up. Or Callum, you do your storm thing. Wait a minute. Yeah. We can only hatch in a storm. Yeah. Either break the stone or use it. Because Claudia captured, or not Claudia, but whoever it was captured a storm, contained a storm within the primal stone. So if you break the primal stone, or use its power. There we go, come on. He's not gonna just kill them all. Like, what if, like, you're unleashing a storm? How convenient, a port of storm. Does that mean we're gonna get to see a dragon? It's okay, it's a storm, it'll hatch in it, I think. That or it needs to get hit by lightning. Don't you both fall off? Yeah, wow. Grab onto the bird's tail. Ah, oh, freaking bait. Ah, that's what she's doing. Ow. She's using her one injured arm. Is it gonna like strike a lightning bolt right on her? You might want to get away from it. Gonna get to see a dragon baby? Dragon baby? Pretty colors. It's alive! It's alive! Um. Didn't do anything. Did it die? It's not dead, is it? It's like that. It reminds me of that meme of a person with a stick just poking, going, "Do something." <laughs> it's like, don't just do that and leave. Okay, wait. Let's not. Let's not freak out. Maybe it just needed the energy. It got zapped, and now it needs to wake up. Is it starting to crack? <gasps> yes. Yes. Jacoby. Ah. I see an eye. Pick it up and hug it immediately. Come on, babe. Help him. His eyes are stuck. Are you gonna lick it? You need to lick them open. <laughs> Bates, like, ew, why don't I lick my own eyes, but not something else's? Is it gonna frickin' imprint on bait? Ah, so cute! Yep, it's gonna imprint on bait! <laughs> oh my god, this sound. It's like a puppy. A bait can't get up. As Amandius, that's its name. We'll call you Zim. Zim? No, <laughs> Zim, like Invader Zim. So cute. It's gonna lick her hand. One miracle is enough for me today. Is it gonna be able to rip off her bind? has been spared! Yay! Good dragon! Yay! Good as Mondius or as him. Hug it and kiss it! I'd be crying, man. I just, it just saved me your, my arm! Alright, now we're... Oh, so you two are going to a different mountain. I thought it was the same freaking... Man, they made it really seem like they were going to the same mountain, but I guess one's called Curse of Caldera, or the other one was... Or Caldera or whatever. This one's a different name, I believe. But I thought maybe it just was known for two different names. 
Okay, so they're not running into each other. You would be insanely comfortable. I'm <laughs> the sarcasm. A supper. A supper. <laughs> Is this dark magic too? Okay, I guess it is. I thought it was a simple location spell that wouldn't be dark, but all right. Oh, is it because you're gonna use the magic from them? Oh no. I thought maybe she was like gonna consume their magic. <laughs> On a completely opposite mountain. So bloody cute. Oh. That's not a shooting star. It's beautiful. pretty, but they even tickle a little. <laughs> you have no idea why they're there. Oh, bait. She knows something's up. That's a pretty shot. Uh, Viren, you're not looking too good. Why are you like still looking like chap lip central and stuff? Uh oh, what a season finale. Okay. Oh no, drawings. <gasps> you got as Erzim. You got the freaking spider with the little face. The mirror. Wait, 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 wait. You got the mirror, but there's an elf hand on it because of the four fingers. Whose hand is that? Is that her with the baby version of the birdie? Oh my god, it's like a freaking chocobo phoenix. It's so cute and pudgy. Oh, okay, the crew, the crew with Zim. <laughs> now, now freaking Sword has all, uh, freaking Bait, Callum, Claudia, and <laughs> Ezra on him. Oh, so he does have a limit. He can't, he can't put do push-ups with all four of them on him. All right, all right, okay. Uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. All right, so that was the season finale for, uh, or the season one finale of Dragon Prince. Uh, that was good. I like, I had a feeling the dragon, like there's no way they'd kill off a dragon, the dragon egg like this soon. Okay, maybe later on, which now that it's hatched, that would mean Zim would die as a, either a baby or an adolescent or an adult. Don't want to see that. Um, but yeah, so I, I knew the egg had to hatch. Like it either was gonna, regain its energy and be like glowing again and strong or it was gonna hatch. Um, but I'm glad it did hatch because I wanted to see what a baby dragon looked like in this show. <laughs> it's freaking adorable. Um, but yeah, I, I, I also honestly thought that Claudia and Soren were gonna run into them. I thought that was, I thought the mountain they, that the crew went up to was the mountain they were gonna go to. Um, but I'm like, okay, you're gonna end on a cliffhanger where now it's like, like, before I knew that Claudia and Soren were on a separate mountain, I'm like, okay, are they gonna, like, meet after the dragons hatched and then maybe have a talk, like, in the next episode? Even though that would kind of... I don't know how they would continue that with the cliffhanger. Like, what are they gonna do? Talk to Soren and Claudia? I feel like that kind of conversation getting into, like, oh, well, uh, our dad, Viren, wants you dead. Uh, well, why are you listening to him? Like, it would become, it would become a bigger thing, and I feel like that's something more serious. Maybe, like, Season three-ish would be more likely to have that confrontation. I don't think it'd be season two. I feel like season three. Um, but yeah, like overall for this episode, the plot was probably, I would say probably my favorite episode is because, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff happened, uh, a lot of cool things and um, characters being, I mean, also we got freaking Callum's jerk face dance finally. <laughs> I thought I thought maybe not this season, maybe another season, but the fact we got it for the season finale. Oh, uh, great. It, 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 it's funnier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be some like silly little dance, but like it was like multiple dances in one. Oh my god. I kind of wonder why he thought of that dance. Like what made him come up with that dance? Like what did he do? Like did he call it jerk face? Did somebody else call it jerk face and then took off from there and like anytime he does something that's being a jerk, he does the dance. I wonder when it was the first time he did that. Um, yeah, anyway. So, plot for this episode was great. Characters were great. Animation definitely is getting better. Like, compared to, like, the first, I would say, three, four episodes. No. I would say the first five to six episodes of the season were definitely frame rate uh, issues and stuff. Um, now, it's still, like, I don't know, I'm just gotten used to it. Maybe I'm just not noticing it. But it just, it feels, some of it feels smoother. Doesn't feel as 
fr like jerky the frames or like less frame. I don't know what they call it. I think it's less frames. Something like that. Like frames by one frames instead of two frames. I'm not sure what it is. Um, yeah, the animation was great in this episode. Uh, the music was great. Um, I especially love the designs. Uh, like my favorite design is literally that bird that that mage has. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And then like the design for Zim. Um, he's just a baby, so it's pretty, like, babies are obviously more, like, compact forms, like, shrunken, like, cutie forms of their adult cells, so design-wise, I can't really judge it, he's, like, he looks like he's gonna be cool looking when he's an adult, um, so I'm looking forward to seeing if he does get to an adult throughout the show, which I would think so, unless it takes, like, hundreds of years for a dragon to reach maturity, then obviously that's not gonna happen, uh, through this, uh, in this series, unless we start doing time scales, so in that case, how's that gonna work, because Callum's a human, and humans don't live for hundreds of years, so, yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen, so it's gonna, it's probably gonna either, Zim is probably gonna either stay a young dragon, or they don't, they do mature, like, they just live a long time, but they mature so like normally, like a normal animal. Um, but yeah, I mean, and also, yay for Rayla. She does not have to worry about her arm popping off. It's, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, so a blade can't cut it. Like an elf blade can't cut it, which makes sense because it's an elf bind. So why would an elf be able to remove it? So the fact that it's a dragon's teeth, like that can rip it or break the magic, it makes sense because dragons are probably very powerful, like, magical beings like they're probably a concentration of magic uh which is probably why they wanted their magic and to consume them and stuff not consume but like absorb them or whatever um whatever it is they did some um yeah for the season one finale i really enjoyed it and i'm definitely really looking forward to the uh next season but uh those are my thoughts for this episode i hope you enjoyed this reaction if you like early access to my full and edited reactions go join my patreon links in the description and pinned comments below but anyway have a wonderful morning after night and keep bringing bright see ya